Hi everyone and welcome along to today's quick fix. This is all about caring for and cleaning your watercolour brushes. Now the first thing to mention is I've said watercolour brushes but I use mixed media synthetic bristle brushes nearly all the time for my watercolour and I don't actually use watercolour br brushes strictly made for watercolour. So we're going to talk about both because there are a few subtle differences and the other big thing to talk about is the bristles themselves on the brush. The hairs can be synthetic or real sable and the real sable brushes are much more soft and delicate and need even greater care. The synthetic bristles are just a little bit more robust so can handle a bit more wear and tear. But on the whole, your watercolour brushes should last you a long time if you take good care of them. So let's have a look at these three pairs. Here I have two watercolour brushes. They are both real sable. Then over here I've got two synthetic mixed media brushes and then in the middle I've got two slightly strange sad looking brushes. The bristles are a little bit wonky, a little bit tufty. You could say these have seen better days. So let's see how we can avoid this. With watercolour, the clue is in the title, water plays a big part. And you can see here from the side, we've got two jars of water, one really quite full and one a lot lower. And this plays a large part in the longevity of your brush. Now, before I talk about uh, some uh, tips, I want to just mention the naming of the different parts of the brush. We've got the bristles, the heel, which is where the uh, the hairs meet the metal tube here. This is called the ferrule and this is called the handle. Okay, so the first thing and the golden rule I tell all my students is you must never ever leave your brush just languishing in the jar whilst you're painting. It's an absolute no-no and there are a few reasons why. So first off, if you have a full jar of water like this, you have submerged the entire ferrule, you've got all the bristles and you've got quite a large amount of the handle in the water and over time that is going to wear down both the glue that holds all these three bits together so you're going to end up with a three-part brush and you're also going to end up with the paint flaking and cracking off of here and amongst other things it's really uncomfortable to hold a brush like that so never leave it in the water but also even when you're dipping your brush in the water you want to try and make sure it's just the bristles going in so the first tip is just to not overfill your jar of water so you just want a nice small amount that's getting so if the bristles, okay, you're gonna get a bit of the ferrule in there, but on the whole, you're not overfilling your water. So this is the one to go for. The next thing to talk about is how we actually sort of look after the bristles of the brush, because I don't know if you noticed, but there was a bit of a bend on this poor brush that not only has got its paint cracked off, but those bristles are looking really sorry for themselves. That is the result of leaving your brush in the jar of water for too long. It starts to bend and lean and the poor thing isn't gonna stand much of a chance. But there is a solution to this and this is only something I'd recommend for the synthetic bristles because they're just a bit more sturdy. You can boil uh, boil some water and put a little bit in a, a water safe, a hot water safe container and just pop this in, swirl it around for a little bit and then you can bring it out and when it's safe to touch you can reshape the bristles back in. So they are savable but try not to leave it like that in the first place. So we've got our water correct and now how about when we're actually painting? What do we need to keep our brushes happy? Well here is a piece of kitchen paper. It's a lovely uh, sort of tissue paper. It's going to soak up all the water. Um, I always leave my brushes sat horizontally on that resting when I'm painting. Um, if I was to leave them, obviously we've talked about not putting them in the water, but also if you were to leave them handle down upright even though the bristles are safe the water is going to seep down into the brush so just try and keep them nice and flat you could always lean them on your palette 
but that happens and that can be a bit annoying. The other useful thing for the watercolour brush is when you're actually painting and you've got lots of colour on the brush and you've done a nice nice painting and then you want to clean your brush off so we sort of gently swizzle it around and I don't want to sort of be pressing it too hard but it can handle it especially the synthetic bristles but we do need to make sure we're getting all the colour off the brush so I just like to swizzle the bristles and get it up against the side of the rim of the glass but there's nearly always something lurking there so I use my bit of kitchen paper to just blot the brush and really I'm pressing down the heel of the brush there because that's where a lot of paint tends to sit and then that just means you can get your bristles nice and clean and dry and just leave them on the kitchen roll like that. Now in terms of a deep clean of your brushes, the good thing about watercolour paint is it's water soluble so it means that your brushes can get pretty much entirely clean just with water and some gentle blotting like that. But every now and then if you fancy it you can do a deep clean. Now there are specialist brush cleaners out there but you can also just use some hand soap and what you just do is you grab a, a wet the hand soap, rub the brush on the soap a little bit like that, get the bristles nicely coated and then just give them a really nice wash in some clean water. You'll want to repeat the washing in the clean water process a few times until your brush is super clean and then you can just reshape the tip at the end like that and leave them to dry. So thanks so much for watching, I really hope this helps your brushes have a long and happy life.